The, uh, the Coordination uh, Command Center in Boston received a report from the Canadian Expedition vessel, a Polar Prince of an overdue 21-foot submarine Titan with five people on board. The Titan was attempting to dive on the wreck of the Titanic approximately 900 miles east of Cape Cod and 400 miles south of St. John's, Newfoundland. Approximately one hour and 45 minutes into the scheduled dive, the Polar Prince lost all communication with the Titan. The Polar Prince conducted an initial search and then requested Coast Guard assistance. The U.S. Coast Guard in Boston assumed the responsibility of search and rescue mission coordinator and immediately launched search assets. Since Sunday, the Coast Guard has coordinated search efforts with the U.S. and Canadian Coast Guard, Air National Guard aircraft, and the Polar Prince, which have searched a combined 7,600 square miles, an area larger than the state of Connecticut. These search efforts have focused on both surface, with C-130 aircraft searching by sight and with radar, and subsurface, with P-3 aircraft, were able to drop and monitor sonar buoys. To date, those search efforts have not yielded any results. Search efforts have continued through last night and today. Today, the vessel Deep Energy, 194 meter pipe laying vessel arrived on scene with underwater ROV capability. They have rendezvoused with the vessel Polar Prince and commenced an ROV dive at the last known of the position of the Titan and the approximate position of the Titanic wreck. That operation is currently ongoing. Additionally, a Canadian P-3 aircraft is currently conducting a six-hour search of the area, and several C-130 aircraft and another P-3 are scheduled to fly this afternoon and this evening. The Canadian Coast Guard cutter, or vessel, John Cabot, is scheduled to arrive later this evening, and several other Canadian Coast Guard vessels and the Coast Guard cutter Sycamore are en route. Additionally, the U.S. Coast Guard has um, the U.S. Navy's Subsal Supervisor of Salvaging Diving Command is working with U.S. Transportation Command to bring additional assets to the search area. These more capable assets will be staged at a St. John's